here we are again. Well, you've seen uh, some sketches that look like this. This is from Carmen on the Metropolitan Opera. I, I used two sketchbooks because I was not patient enough to wait for paint to dry. So I often do that, have two sketchbooks on the go and I can go from one to the other. Uh, some proportion issues, obviously, Lady didn't have such a big head, but uh, uh, it's interesting to learn how to use different things. So I was trying different pens. Oh no, I was actually trying the ink. I found that all my ink was bleeding there, even ink that's not supposed to, to bleed at all. But maybe I've had it for too long and uh, there's some separation issues. This is from Iphigenie en Tauride, uh, again, Metropolitan Opera, New York on demand, about $15 a month for the subscription. So I'll, I'll keep it for a couple of months. It's a great way to uh, practice sketching people. Uh, very expressive, uh, fantastic opera. You couldn't, you couldn't make it up um, all, all about, what is it about the... Uh, Helen of Troy and Iphigenie, who's killed by her father, Agamemnon, and then she's not killed after all. And oh, there's so much going on. Then she meets her brother who thinks she's dead and they don't know each other, but they know each other. Weird, weird, weird. Um, loads of lovely uh, dancers and everything. So I had uh, great fun discovering those. This is uh, from another sketching play lab. Again, about textures. Oh, actually, yeah, that was in the other book. Uh, again, the other the other page was still damp, so I picked it, picked up this sketchbook and how to do leaves with textures. That was great fun and more drawing people. Very dramatic. More leaves. That was supposed to be roses. It looks like beetroot. Um, yeah, this was with virtual sketch Lester. Um, they meet on Zoom as well. Like everybody meets on Zoom st still. <laughs> we're still. We're still with Zoom. Um, and uh, just drew a few of the people while we were chatting. And we were in the garden. Oh, what's the date on this? 14th of March. Yeah, I managed to sit in the sun and this was my shadow. So uh, March, we had a few lovely days. They're sitting in the garden. Paddy's day and drew everything green, or not so green, but anyway. Uh, two self-portraits, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, the theme for Dublin sketchers was chiaroscuro. Ah, probably pronouncing that completely wrong. I don't speak any Italian, um, but basically light and dark and uh, just explored how to sketch with a strong sense of light, like one side of the face in the light the other more in shade. It's good, interesting. And back to Kachigawa. Yeah, this sketchbook is a bit of, a, of everything in it, isn't it? Um, this is Shinobu's house, my good friend in Japan. I finally found our house on Google Maps and got the proportions completely wrong, but I'm so happy. Uh, it was a lovely view of it. Um, um, actually, I was in that house, but I don't have a memory of the outside of it. My only memory is from photos she sent me when her boys were small. Uh, one of them is 30 or 31 now, and the other one is probably 28, 29. But uh, I remember pictures of the two boys, Yuki and Kyohei, in front of that gate with their little fishing rods. I think they were going to go fishing. So very special for me to, to have found this on Google Maps. And this is kind of a different view there. Like that's the, the neighbor's alleyway. And I decided to, to do it as a separate sketch. So it feels very special to me. And this is another theme from Dublin Sketches. Uh, it was how to paint or sketch with the color red and color mixing and the color wheel. So I, I kind of went on a few things and found stuff about the triads and the tetras and the split complementaries and I just shook it all well and mixed it all together and this is what I came up with so uh, I enjoyed that and that's my teapot you've seen that before and another house in Kachigawa this is actually one of Shinobu's neighbors she knows the lady who lives there a uh, beautiful kind of traditional house you can see the the lovely roof and the fantastic trees who are, you know, 
uh, trimmed and beautifully shaped. And uh, this is the other side of a house with a traditional gate. You can't, you can't really see from, from the road what's inside the garden, but uh, it's just such beauty, I think, in, in the detail and how everything is just so perfect. I don't know if you can see here, it's actually a pole that's holding that old tree up so it doesn't break and fall. It's kind of the, like here as well, there is kind of a pole that's holding it up and another pole there. So it's a fairly uh, common uh, thing they do in, in gardening in Japan when the tree is old, rather than cut it, they prop it up. Um, so virtual sketch in Japan, love it. And another virtual sketch. This is um, a theme for Dublin sketches since we still can't meet. Um, well, I don't know if I sketch this at the end of March or early April, but uh, the theme was a cafe terrace anywhere you want to be. And I knew straight away I wanted to be in Porto at this cafe terrace. Uh, near the river, near the Don Luis Bridge. Um, this was in 2018. I was sitting at that terrace with Pat, one of uh, Dublin sketches, one of my best friends in Dublin sketches. And um, we just sat there and drinking a cool drink and sketching the view uh, the day before the 2018 Urban Sketches Symposium started and the city was alive with sketches. There was people everywhere. We kept bumping into people we knew, people we didn't know. We were talking sketchbooks and uh, and are so looking forward to the three days of the symposium. It was just such a fantastic memory. Um, I knew if I could transport myself and sit at a cafe terrace, where did I want to be? Well, exactly there. And uh, it just brought back loads of good memories. Uh, yes, not such a successful page. I was trying colours again. This was trying little elements of nature. Um, oh yeah, I mentioned Shelley there. During the uh, month of January I did the course with Uma Kelkar which is not a sketchbook course so there is nothing from that course in, in, in my sketchbooks and I don't think you'll you'll want to watch it another video with all my my paintings <laughs> that would be a bit too much now wouldn't it oh you never know you never know that's the, the month of January but anyway I made a very good friend during that course um, a lady called Shelley she lives in Nova Scotia in Canada and uh, a few weeks after the course ended, we said, mm, we still want to keep in touch. So why don't we uh, Zoom and paint together? So that's what we do every week uh, for two hours. We kind of have a Zoom call and we paint whatever we want to paint and we just chat about the world. And it's just wonderful uh, to me that with the pandemic and the way the world has turned, that I've made a new friend. Uh, some a friend I would never have met otherwise and um, I wouldn't know of her existence and I'm sure we'll be friends for life and we'll probably continue painting together after we, get, we gain our freedom again even when we can travel the world we'll still have our zoom call and uh, paint together and, and talk and uh, laugh and you know discuss pigments and paper and what to do next. So just wanted to say that, uh, you know, it's not all doom and gloom. Uh, nearly at the end of uh, the sketchbook, this is going to be the final, final page I'll show you. And this is back to Japan, back to Kachigawa, or at least to Kasugai, the, the main town where Shinobu lives. And uh, I was there uh, once, uh, visited her, and we stayed in a hotel for one night. And uh, when I opened the curtains uh, early in the morning, the sun was rising behind the mountains and I could see this chimney spewing fumes, which looked like steam, really. It looked very pretty. And I, I was wondering what that factory was. It turns out it's a paper mill 
uh, probably not the best thing to have in your neighborhood. But anyway, um, when the theme for Dublin sketches was to sketch a, an industrial estate or a something industrial, I knew I had to find it on the map and it's huge. Um, so I went on Google Maps and picked a 3D view and this is the Oji paper uh, in Kasugai and uh, in the Oji Cho, it's got its own neighborhood named after it and that's it. That's me done and hopefully I won't be filling too many more sketchbooks uh, before this pandemic is over. Hopefully we'll be able to get out in the world again. We, we were able to go around County Dublin now so that's, that's getting there. Um, can't wait for vaccination, it's not there yet. Um, but um, I hope you've enjoyed my virtual travels in I don't know how many sketchbooks by Marie-Hélène Brohan-Delhay. Thank you.